What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be making a Geometry Dash thumbnail. Also, this is much more different compared to other videos I've created. Also, some of you uh, have been asking for this, uh, like in the chat, in the YouTube chat and in the Discord. So, I thought I would make a tutorial on how to make a Geometry Dash thumbnail in the big 2-5. Let's get into it. So first, um, you're gonna have to choose which one of these you're gonna pick. So obviously, YouTube thumbnail, name it something that you're gonna remember. Ah, that's very memorable. Now, let's click create. Also in this tutorial, I'm using Photopea or photo p however however you want to pronounce it it's basically just free photoshop so first things first you would want the background right so let's search for background ooh this is a nice picture right here so let's copy the image go to photo p uh control v to paste it um control plus alt plus t for this transform feature and now we don't not we do not want these black bars over here so let's transform it a little bit move it like that and that looks nice okay now what do we want next i think we want text right so let's size it yeah, that's a good size all right uh now we want a font so what i usually just do is browse these fonts but it's pretty hard to find a good font so i use the font to find good fonts not this one not this one these are just as the fonts okay now let's search for a font what works good for amethyst wait this is pretty cool yeah that's pretty cool. This is also very cool, but I don't think it will like, I don't think you can see it that good. Um, so let's download this one. Now we got Gildeon font. Let me just favorite it because I think it's a pretty good font. Now press T on your keyboard or you could go here. Click and type whatever you want. So I'm gonna type Amethyst. Amethyst. That's, that looks alright. Now let's put it in the middle. Where's the middle? There it is. Resize it again. Control plus Alt plus T. Boom. That's too big. That's a good size. It's not looking too bad right now. But let's make it a little better. So, right click the text here. And blend options. Or blending options. Actually, before that... Let's duplicate this. Control I to invert. Control U to bring out the hue and saturation. Or you could just go, you know, image adjustments, hue and saturation. Uh, then we want to bring the saturation down. And yeah, that's that's all we want to do here. Then levels. Here we go. So we want it to kind of be like a little bit more black in some parts. So we want to it's a little bit dark. No wait, we yeah, up here. That looks alright. Okay. Remember to press OK. And now pre okay, so right click this and then clipping mask. Put it above the text. Remember to do that. And look at this. It goes like this. The wave trail here is white and then it turns black. Because it's inverted, right? But we don't see any of the colors. Now let's fix that. Then we want to click here. And adjustments. Then gradient map. Click here. Click here. And we want to choose the lightest color. Um, maybe not this white here. But this pink diamond looks good and then the oh my god 
Then the darkest color, which is maybe this blue. Maybe a little bit darker. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Then we go to the text, drop shadow, and I already got it set. Um, except for the angle, which I'm gonna change to 90. We got opacity 80, distance 17, spread 100, size 7. Now we want to go to the gradient overlay. And look how it just changed. So it got that texture kind of. And now we want the gradient overlay. But this is different. We want to choose this here. And then we choose pink. And we can put the opacity a little bit down. That looks alright. Now we're gonna add another gradient overlay. Make it a little bit different. Press plus here on the gradient overlay. Make sure that it is the gradient overlay you're clicking on. Then, so pick blue maybe here. And that looks decent, right? I forgot to move this, so move the clipping mask a little bit. Now we want to add outer glow. Now we don't want this ugly yellowish vanilla color here. So let me pick like pink or something here. Spread maybe a little bit. The size is important though, so let's put the spread a little bit lower. Size is pretty good. It, I think it would be better with blue. Or I don't know. Maybe a mix between. Ooh, purple looks good. That, that doesn't look half bad. And I forgot to say, um, pick color dodge on these <laughs> gradients. Color dodge, very important. Let's put inner glow, maybe like there. That's a good color. Size more. Just a little bit spread, size, that yeah, looks up right. Now we want to put a layer above this clipping mask, make sure that it's not here, because then this text blue will become white. So put it above this, take your brush tool, press B on your keyboard. Choose a color, maybe again this pink, okay, and go here, instead of normal, change that to color dodge, and very important. Now, if you hold alt and hold right click, it will com come up this menu up here, so if you slide to the right, it will become bigger if you slide to the left, smaller. Then up is, uh, what is it called? Hardness. You can also just press the right click to bring up this menu. I like to do it this way. So, zero hardness and a little bit smaller than this, maybe. And just... Ooh, look at that. Uh, we want to kind of make it a little bit smaller. And just a little bit like that. Ooh. Oh, this is looking great. Put it like somewhere where you just want it kind of to glow just a bit. Maybe in some corners here. Maybe in this corner needs some light. This corner needs some light. 
and uh, looks all right. And if you want, you could put the opacity a little bit down on this layer. Make sure that you have to, the layer selected. And maybe I want it to be just 75%. Now let's create another layer here. Take black, put it below the text. Make sure that it's below the text, not here. Then take your brush tool by pressing B or clicking here. Hold Alt, hold right click and put up the size. But make sure to have zero hardness. Put up the size and go just behind this text. That's good. And also, if you want, you could have a little bit, like, in the corners here, so it becomes kind of a vignette. Um, there we go. And opacity down. Just like that. And look, before, after. Now you can see the text a little bit more clearly. And now... Um... Now this looks good, right? But I want to add one more thing before I give you a special tip. So I'm gonna choose this pink color again. And I'm on the color dodge pink layer. And turn up the size a little bit. You can also do it like this. So I'm gonna put... Actually I'm gonna do another layer with color dodge. Make sure it's color dodge though. Up here. On the left. On the right. And here. And you're gonna notice that the vignette is gonna show. Like, you're gonna notice the vignette a little bit more. Now, don't make it too obvious that it's there. So maybe like that. Make sure to save. Control S. Oh my, it's lagging. Okay, Control S, and it will save as a PSD file. Here's the font we used. I want it in the downloads folder. Save. Okay. It's saving right now, but it's very slow. It's lagging because I'm recording. Also, if you have any other, like, um programs which you can use like maybe like GIMP you can also use um, Microsoft Paint or Paint.net if you want um, you can make very good thumbnails okay we got this right here this looks alright you know not the best thumbnail but it works now I got a special tip for you guys which I'm gonna show right now so you can go to window up here and then click plugins. Now it will bring up this window right here, right? Um, and the third plugin, you can also search for Super, and you will see it here. Super Bloom by Lunal Graphics. Click it, and then there should be an install button here. When it has installed, go click this X, and you're back in this. Um, project. Now there should be a special button right here. And you can go right ahead and click it. You don't need to. If you think your thumbnail is done, uh, just go ahead and export it. But this is just a special tip. So here it will add glow. And it actually looks pretty neat. I've learned this feature like uh, I've known this feature for like a couple of days and I've been um, experimenting a little bit. You can also hue shift. Wow, we got very pink. That's pretty good. Yeah, so it's pretty explanatory. Uh, most you actually just need in this is the hue shift, saturation and brightness. That's everything. Then you can put the quality off as well. Uh, just make sure to not pick the worst quality. I usually go with 0 0.75 then add to document 
and boom. And you can click here on the icon again. And look, this is before, this is before, and this is after. Just makes it better. And I mean, you, you're saving a lot of time when you're doing that. Because you don't have to do that manually yourself. And it usually makes the thumbnail much better. Now, I think we're done with this thumbnail. So, when I want to export it, make sure to save. It should always be saying saving up there. Then go to file. And export as PNG. Now, we already got that name. And you can take a look here in the thumbnail. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. That looks very cool. Now, put... Don't... Here's a pro tip again. If you uh, want to save some space, put the quality to 99. Because it will be almost as good. Like, it's just 1%. You won't even notice it. And it will save a ton of space on your computer. So... Once you think you're done, you can go ahead and save. That's the thumbnail. Then we can go up here and check in the folder. But you can also just click here and uh, and here it is, our awesome thumbnail. And now you can put it in your YouTube video. And look at this. It looks so great. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I hope it was helpful for you guys. And uh, maybe... Maybe I'm gonna make another video like this, maybe some tutorials. If you want more tutorials, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn on the post notifications. Also, comment down below uh, if you found this helpful and you want more of this kind of content. Um, so yeah, that was it for today and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.